Cleaning and maintenance of the ABS is simple and requires no tools. The following parts are autoclavable assemblies. Before removing the ABS, disconnect the bag hose from the bag hose connector. Also, remove the hose from the clip. If a bag arm is present, remove the bag port elbow from the bag arm support. Push down on the release latch and slide the bag port elbow out of the holder. To remove the ABS from a spire, follow these easy steps. First, remove the multiple absorber canister from the ABS. It is possible to remove the ABS without doing this step, but handling the ABS once it's removed is more balanced with the canister off. Second, lightly grasp the rear handle with your left hand and the center handle with your right hand. Third, depress the green button and pull the center handle towards you. The ABS will disengage from the spire. Maintaining your hold on the ABS, Slide the unit towards you until it is completely free from the mounting pins. You may carry the ABS in this fashion or by the rear handle alone. When you are ready to disassemble the ABS, follow these steps. First, remove the flow sensor module by releasing the green lever and pulling the module away from the ABS. Some resistance is normal because the flow sensors are overcoming the seals required to maintain a leak tight breathing system. Then, loosening the thumb screw allows you to separate the flow sensor holder from the cover. Once the holder has been separated, you can remove the flow sensors for cleaning or replacement without tools. Next, remove the O2 cell from the circuit module by unscrewing its cell. Also, disconnect the cell communications line by unclipping it from its harness. The O2 cell and cable cannot be cleaned or autoclaved. If desired, the flow sensor cover can now be reconnected to the ABS. Further disassembly of the ABS is possible. Rotate the circuit module counterclockwise while holding the bellows base firmly. The bayonet style connector is easily released, separating the ABS into two sections. If desired, the inspiratory and expiratory flow check valves can be removed and cleaned by squeezing the two tabs together and pulling up on the check valve cover. Reach in to remove the check valves. The bellows and bellows canister can be autoclaved while attached to the ABS bellows base. Place upside down so that the bellows is completely extended. Should you wish to disassemble the bellows, turn the bellows canister counterclockwise and remove. Then squeeze the locking ring on two sides to release the bellows. Finally, remove the valve under the bellows. The APL ramp can be removed by putting slight pressure on the tab connections as shown. Removal of this component provides additional access to the interior of the bellows base assembly. Turning the bellows base assembly upside down reveals the boot. This component is easily removed by grasping it and pulling it away from the bellows base. Disassembly to this level provides excellent cleaning access to all components of the ABS which come in contact with patient gases. Any additional disassembly of the ABS should only be done by a qualified service technician. If you wish to clean the flow sensors, you may do so after removing them from the flow sensor holder as described earlier. Submerge the flow sensors and tubes in activated SIDEX solution. Please note that the plastic flow sensors cannot be autoclaved, and for all types of flow sensors, you must make sure to keep the connector dry. Keep the sensor in the solution for the sterilization period. 
Afterward, submerge the flow sensors and tubes in distilled water. Again, do not get the connector wet. Rinse as indicated in the Cydex instructions. Submerge and rinse several times to remove all the Cydex. Make sure to completely dry the flow sensors and tubes before using the sensors. Please consult your user's reference manual for complete flow sensor cleaning and maintenance recommendations. The HESS receiver may also be removed for cleaning and sterilization after the ABS has been removed from the Aspire. On the back of the system, to release the system side panel from the Aspire, loosen the two thumb screws on the side panel. Slide the side panel out by removing its tabs from their slots. Next, loosen the thumb screw on the side of the reservoir and remove the reservoir. The reservoir is not autoclavable. Once the reservoir has been removed, loosen the thumb screw on the bottom side of the receiver and then lower the receiver to remove it. Once the reservoir has been removed from the receiver, the receiver may be autoclaved. For AGSS receivers with a filter though, the filter must be removed too because it is not autoclavable. To remove the filter, pull the flexible gasket from the receiver. Pull the filter out of its holder. After cleaning and reassembling the AGSS receiver, refer to the preoperative test in your user reference manual before using the system. Once maintenance is complete, Reassembly of the ABS is just as easy as disassembly. Re-engaging the ABS to the Aspire workstation is also very simple. Line up the Aspire guide pins to the corresponding components on the ABS. Align the rear guide pin on the Aspire with the rear green ABS connection port. Be sure that all three guide pins are inserted into the ABS connection ports. Slide the ABS into position. An audible click will help to indicate that the ABS has been properly reconnected. Note, if the ABS is not fully engaged, the absorber panel open message will appear on the 7100 ventilator display. Be sure to conduct the leak test outlined in your user reference manual following the removal and replacement of the ABS.